Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to one hour of Hydra. I will be killing the Hydra with a Tebow in this one hour video. If you're looking for some Hydra examples that don't include a Tebow, I do plan on putting other one hour of Hydra videos out there. This is the first one though, so if you're early to this and you're looking in the description for some links to other Hydra hours, then you're going to have to wait a little bit, but I will be linking them in the description as soon as they are ready. For this trip though, or for this hour I should say, this is the gear that I'll be wearing. Uh, to be honest, the boots are subject to change if I'm looking like I'm doing well in there, but I'm going to need a little bit of warm-up with Hydra. Definitely uh, leaning on the food side of inventory too. I feel like the first trip will likely be a little bit shorter as I try to get the Hydra down. This is going to be a live hour with full examples, so be ready for some repeated information and occasional awkward pauses while I'm trying to keep count and get back in the swing of things. My goal is not to have a perfect hour necessarily. My goal is to give you enough live examples of the fight that you can learn how you're supposed to have a good kill, what a good kill looks like, but also what to do if you mess up at any point during the kill. So I'm trying to give examples of both parts of it. Overall, if you have any questions at any point about what I'm doing, let me know in the comments section below, but I believe this this gets us started. I will actually start the hour when I first get some range XP. I'll let my rune light XP tracker keep track of the hour there. But um, overall, I'm looking hopefully for 25 kills or so. And generally, it'd be nice to pull it off in one trip, but I haven't been fighting Hydra a lot recently necessarily. And um, I don't know, I never claimed to be that good at it in the first place. So I'll definitely take a couple of hits in these first couple kills as I'm trying to get it down. But again, I don't think just watching somebody do perfect kills is a good way to learn it. Hopefully I get a couple of pretty flawless kills in there so I can show you that's how it's supposed to be done. But at the same time, if you're just learning how to do Hydra and you're only seeing how it's done just at like top-notch level, you're not necessarily getting all the info you need. There's definitely a process with learning anything. You don't just go from, I don't know how to do it, to I'm perfect at it. Uh, I'm checking my defense stats. I'm tied. Wow. Tied with range and... <laughs> magic defense so it really doesn't matter much uh i'm gonna go with magic keep rigor on the quick prayers i could have brought the regular bastion potions or ranging potions for um for the fact that i'm gonna be using bruise and I'm, i might have to sip extra because of that but i brought an extra divine bastion potion i'm giving myself a little bit benefit of the doubt that i'm gonna survive longer than that that i can go one sip without having to brew up First things first, running over to the corner. She did use a range attack. I didn't even see it the first time. About to get a poison phase, but she is weakened already, which is nice. Got sniped by the poison phase. Feels good, man. I knew I should have ran east, and I just kind of thought about it after I clicked. Foolish, foolish. So even though I've already lost track of her attacks, when the poison disappears, see how the acid on the ground just disappeared? It lasts there for three attacks, so the green phase is really easy to keep track at first. Now I actually have to keep count, though. I believe she's used one range attack so far. Bring her up to the vent. There's a second range attack. So this should be range, unless I already blew it. Nope. And then we're going to mage. She's been hit by the vent, so I'm going to try to lead her over to the blue vent. And now that's been three attacks, we'll get some lightning life. In terms of the lightning trick, um, it, it happens quick enough that it's kind of hard to explain while doing it. Generally, right as I see the lightning land on this square is when I'm clicking. Oops. Is when I'm clicking on the first square and then going back. I'll show it a few times. In the next upcoming phases, I'm trying to keep track, though. I think it'll just be three magic attacks here, yeah. Just kind of convenient. So as soon as she walks to the middle, I could switch to range. I'm going to switch a little early. But I'm going to walk to the middle with her. Try to get an extra attack in. Attack or two. Maybe even skip the fire phase with a good hit there. Almost. And I'm just clicking on the square right when she starts to spit her attack at me. At this point, she used Magic Last, and she's switching to range. She did get the range attack off, so if I turn her to the next phase here, last attack was range. It's going to Magic. There is, uh... There was one point there where she had used a Magic Attack last, and she was switching to range, which means whether she was red or black, it was going to be a range attack that I next took. If that makes any sense. At this point, we're pretty home free. Maybe. Trying to mess up my prayers real quick. I always lose track at this point of how many attacks until the poison phase too. If it uses another one, I just start kind of walking back and forth between attacks being ready for it. Took a little damage in there, but shit happens. Go ahead and get some coinage going. We'll leave the dwarf weed there for now. 
and we're good to go. Overall, I'm not gonna lie, she could use like five seconds less on the respawn timer, but if that is the only thing I could find to complain about her, that's really not that big of a deal. Occasionally you need more time to alk stuff in between kills, but usually you have plenty of time. Okay, Crypt Prayer's on, she did use magic, she already hit the vent. So I'm gonna make my way a little bit north. Switch in here, this will be the poison attack. Running west while she does it, generally she'll shoot all the balls east of those vents if you're standing over there. And then again, ooh, at this point it doesn't matter if you're not keeping count. Since they didn't, excuse me, since the acid pools didn't disappear right after she changed, I could tell that there was one more range attack coming in hot. Because it's always three attacks that uh, she'll spit off while those acid balls are on the ground. But the easiest way, instead of having like tricks and tips about when you'll know have to, when you know have to switch. Oh my god, can't speak English. Where are my sound effects when I need them? When you have to know when to switch is usually just counting. If you just count to three, which seems much easier than it is, really all you need. But uh, occasionally, if you lose track, that's going to happen. Then there are sometimes tells that she has of where she is in her phases, but not that many. Right now I got two range attacks coming back. Oh, I totally forgot the lightning was under me. Whoops. So when you do the corner trick, the lightning doesn't disappear. It's just stuck under you for a bit. I think she got one more range attack. Oh, that was magic. Now it'll be a magic attack. And then she goes to the middle, which means she'll have one more magic attack if she's still red when she attacks me next. But if she's black, it'll be a range attack. Right as she spits. I think I may have clicked late there. Nope. Just enough. It's gonna be range life. Now we are alternating one attack, two attacks. Here's the third, meaning she's using acid here. Don't have to switch prayers on the acid attack, but now just switching every attack and we are home free. I believe the acid on this phase lasts longer than it does in the green phase. Meaning you can't just count three attacks out for it. Here we go. So far, so good. Any Alks? Couple of Alks. Steel arrows? Didn't even notice. I just got steel arrows. Ugly. Sip this. Honestly, I could. Nah, fuck it. Just go over here. Get ready for another kill. I do underutilize my blowpipe even though I bring it. I forget about using it a lot. Let's try to remember it here. Switch over to range. Well, I didn't tank. Now I gotta wait till I tank, actually. Make my way west right as she spits the acid. So right here, the acid's gonna last for three attacks as I tank the first one. She uses a second. It's still out there, right? She uses a third. And it'll disappear. That'll be the case every time at the beginning of the green phase. So, if you're not paying attention to the attacks on her, like, second set of them, then a little bit of a tell there. I think we got one more range hit coming in hot, right? Yeah, now it'll be two magic into the lightning. So she's got one magic attack she'll use after the lightning. It'll kind of be between when she spits the lightning at me and when I got a tick. Oops, and then I clicked in the wrong spot. So that's what I was trying to explain, is it can be kind of difficult timing-wise there. As long as you click on the right square, usually good to go, but that's a good rule of thumb for most bossing, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'll try to show you again on another blue phase. It's the whole point of these full hour of Hydras. Just in one kill, it's actually really difficult to give like every single little tip that I might think about during a fight. So being able to do a bunch of kills in a row, oh no, nah, I just ruined this one, so sad. This whole kill's over. Well here's a good example of walking it out, very easy to do with a range weapon. Just click on her to attack, and click right on the ground afterward, make sure you only stop for the one tick that you attack on. Oops, I think I just tanked that, forgot what attack she was on, so this will be range here, this will be acid here. And then we alternate. My, this will be my first bit of brewing. Like I said, in this first trip, it's probably going to be a lot more tanking, hopefully, than a second trip would need. Shouldn't panic when you tank something, though. It's 
pretty easy way to get yourself killed is by panicking. Everything she's doing is very predictable, so... Just relax a little, slow back down. Make the right moves. If you only bring the fire runes and nature runes in your pouch, you do have one open spot in that rune pouch, which right now I'm using for astrals, it looks like. I'll go ahead and resip this, try not to suck on this fight. And what about that blowpipe I was talking about? So even I could be making some improvements, to say the least. Hold up. Just starting with range more often than not. It's like I'm guessing the wrong one. Okay, so I could use the blowpipe here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do another one as I run from the acid. Oops. And then I haven't been keeping track of these magic attacks, but as soon as this acid disappears, there it goes, that was three of them. As you get the timing down too, you don't necessarily have to watch her as much. She takes the same amount of time always to use three attacks, so. It's really, things that'll mess you up is like transitioning phases will add some time, obviously, and then special attacks that you're not ready for will add time, but really, you almost don't have to watch or count at all if you uh, feel comfy with the time. And there was three magic attacks. So she's using three range in a row. I can just focus on the lightning trick. Yeah, basically when I see the lightning hit this square right here, I think we might have one more range attack. That's when I'm clicking on the first diagonal walk. Okay, the lightning should be still under me, but I'm going to outrun it. Puts her on the vent, but I'm trusting myself not to blow it. To be fair, it didn't really do much to her. And this should just be three range attacks. Yeah. The last one was magic, just use range, so... This is the case where... She just used three, this will be her third range attack. So if she's red at the end of this fire attack, she'll still... She'll be using magic, because she switches over. But her last attack was still range, so if she's black, she'll also be using magic, no matter what. If you do get stuck before uh, you're on the right square for the fire trick, you get one tick before she targets you to go ahead and walk, which means you can be within two squares of it and be okay. She just use two magic attacks, she'll be on range here. I'm gonna switch, step back, oops, try this again. And now we're just alternating for a while, should be home free. More Astral Runes, bit of Alk Life, fine with me, that was a much more solid kill. It's really not that difficult to be able to fight the Hydra without taking any damage, which I'll admit for level 95 Slayer boss, uh, I would have expected it to be a little harder than it is. If you do mess up, you can take a pretty hefty amount of damage, she's got a decent max hit, but um, it really isn't that difficult. Definitely the difficulty comes in getting 95 Slayer and then getting a task. And, like, having solid gear is another thing, too. Making the trek. Kind of missed a blowpipe, or a Tebow attack in there. Had she switched already? Was I just opposite? Am I losing my mind? Yeah, I think I was just blowing it. Not paying any attention apparently so you could just be really bad at this boss too and you'll be fine we got one more range attack or is this mage that's mage so she's gonna use a magic attack here and she has one more magic attack that she's gonna use basically while i'm working with the tick here so i could do the trick first oh never mind can't show the example anymore here comes the one magic attack i'm talking about Whoop! that was gonna happen basically while i was doing the corner trick there's enough time that i can do the corner trick then go switch my prayers normally Honestly, that's more commonly the way to do it rather than switch your prayers right before clicking on the ground like I messed up a couple of kills ago. Ooh, this probably won't work. Yep, blew it again. I keep going a little late while walking over. A lot of times if you watch me stream Hydra, I get really lazy with the fire trick and don't do it at all. I think one of the biggest reasons I'm doing this video is to show examples of things like the fire trick, so I'm trying to make sure I do it every time, but I definitely get lazy about it and just walk it out if I'm using a T-Bow. If you're using the Lance, you really can't afford to get lazy about it, and if you're using a Blowpipe, you, it's a little better. You really would rather not get lazy, but you'll be alright. Oops. Tank that one. Good to go, though. 
<clears throat> I can go ahead and brew up because the divine is about to be done anyway. It's good timing on that. Better not to take damage, you say. Working on that still, apparently. Get some alks out of the way. 30 dragon bones, solid drop. Overall, the uh, the loot for an Iron Man is really solid from this. A lot of cash from Alex, a lot of herbs, a lot of bones. Well, dragon bones are in there. Okay, sip this. Once she gets on the vents, which is now, I'm going to use a blowpipe spec. I'm going to keep using it while I trek a little. Because I'm going to use another over here, and I feel like switching weapons back and forth. Beautiful. I believe that was two magic attacks. There's a third acid disappears. We're good to go right now. Nice. It didn't use the range attack yet, so this lightning will only use three range attacks, then go to lightning phase, which means I don't have to count shit. If you remember at the beginning of each phase, like how many attacks they were on, you don't really have to count the first three that much. You just wait until the special attack happens and you're good to go. There we go. That'll be two magic attacks she's used. Here's a third. We're good to go. Got two range left in her. Then one magic and a special attack. Now that I got in the vent, let me take a couple of steps in to help myself with this fire trick. I haven't been making it over here in time because I'm a fool. It's really not that difficult, but sometimes you're still going to blow it. Okay, right as she spits, there it is. Right there, it probably looked like I clicked a little early. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of a timing thing with uh, ping. I clicked right as the tick was going to happen, but you really couldn't see her spitting that much yet. We are home free. Solid kill, ending with 99 health. Definitely better than my first couple of kills. Good to get the good and bad kills in, like I've said a couple of times. Definitely when the bad kills are early on, though, some people are like, this guy's about to teach me how to do Hydra, he can't even do it himself. They say those who can't teach. Though I'm managing my way here. Feeling a lot better about the last couple of kills. So far, uh, about 15 minutes in, it looks like. Ish, maybe a little less. Whoa. And six kills. About on pace. Okay, so this is going to be acid attack. Oh, I was supposed to switch to range, fool. Tanked one, good to go. Got some sharks as the drop. Gives me a little leeway. Okay, she got one attack off. Means two more magic attacks and then a range hit. Which means after the lightning tackle, it'll be the opposite. It'll be two more range than a magic. So she uses that first range attack while I'm in the middle of it. Right there, you can see her spit it. Oh, I just misclicked that. And then here comes the second one. Whoop. She'll be on magic. A lot of times, if you're trying to work on either the fire or the lightning trick and watch her attacks, so you can blow it. Kind of like I just did. But um, usually you want to not blow the lightning trick. You can uh, try. Doesn't do too much damage, I guess. I guess not blowing it's good advice for anything. I could use that on my daily life. I uh, might not have to deal with the fire trick or even get close this time. Look at these hits. Beautiful. Oops, misclicked that like a motherfucker trying to get fancy. What do you got for me, lady? Brimstone key, I like it. Did a bonus action there. Go ahead and sip this. Brimstone keys are only 1 in 40 from her. It's really not too bad. Very solid bonus cash. 
I really, as far as I recall, I have not gotten any uniques really during these Hour of videos. The best drop I got was during the Hour of Venonatus videos. One in each of them, I got the Onyx Bolt Tips, which is like a 500k drop. Pretty solid, but not anything ridiculous. Alright, so see how I was, um, I should have brought that up before it happened because I saw it coming. I was standing on this corner here where she shot that acid instead of one step to the east, and that made her able to spit the acid over here. I keep talking about how east to west will save you on the acid. It's only if you're standing far enough east when you start, which I just was not. I guess you guys can rewind. I'm thinking, like, the moment's gone. But yeah, I'll try to, I'll make a big point out of that at the beginning of the next fight, too. Is that three? I think that was only two. Let's see. Yep, there was the third. Oh, and this lightning was behind. It was not always the same exact timing with, uh... I mean, it's the same timing on when I'm supposed to click on this square, but she spits the four lightning around the room in a different order each time. So... I just kind of went early, expecting it was already down for some reason, and just pulled the trigger there. It was clearly foolish. Really? That was still magic? It should be the third, though, so this will be your one range, yeah. So she got two range coming in hot after this. We're good to go, never mind on the range hits. Wow, Tebow's going hard. Last kill and a half. All right. First of all, some more Alks. I'll make sure to lock in on that acid this time. So the separator is the vents. The separator line, I should say. You want to be standing on this eastern here. Now I'm facing the right way. This eastern side of the vents. Once you're here, too far west. Once you're here, good to go. I was standing here, but up here, basically. And it messed with me that time. But if you do it correctly, let's get her over here. On the vent make my way up here. I can stand right on this line, and right as she uses the acid, go running over here, and none of the acid will be past that line, see? Some of it right on the line, but none of it past the line. Oops, forgot to switch my prayers while I was talking about it. If I was standing just one spot over, she would have spit a bunch of them around here instead. Worthy to know, it doesn't make a huge difference, but uh, it could save you some sand food steps in the long run. That's kind of the biggest thing. And I lost track, I don't know if she's using one or two range attacks here. I'm gonna go with two. Or excuse me, two or three. I'm going with two. And it was just two. Here comes lightning life, I'm a little behind. Let's get over here. So there was one mage hit while I was doing that. Here comes the second, switch back over. Make sure you're fighting the boss, it's a pretty good way to kill it. Attack it. Got one more range hit coming in hot. I'm making the run from the lightning. I think if I go to just this square, I might be fine. Shoot, was that three magic? I hope so. Yeah, we're good. See, it's very easy to lose track of how many attacks have been used. It's easy to count to three, but it's hard to remember which number you were on sometimes. Oh, that's nice. Did I go too early on that? Oh, I didn't need to go at all is what I did. I see. Oops. Totally space cased the acid there. Didn't really screw me over. I probably overdid it on the food for the first trip, which I thought I might be. I knew I was I was hugging too much food, but I figured I would blow it more while trying to 
Like if I if I wasn't trying to discuss exactly what I was doing, and I was just sitting here only counting one, two, three constantly, I probably would take less damage. But I figured I would just blow it trying to multitask it because you do occasionally. You gotta get in the rhythm, but feeling a little bit better so far, or a little bit better early on, I should say. Starting with range attacks, like 90% of the time, I should switch my quick prayers, but then she'll switch too. Use this blowpipe spec. Oh, let's get a tank. 10, that's fine. Who needed the health from the blowpipe specs anyway? Alright, he's got two magic attacks left. And I'll have two range hits during this lightning life. There's our lightning. We already used one range hit and there was the second. There we go. We got two magic hits left. I could reset this, apparently. No, I said two magic hits left, you fool! I told myself exactly what to do, I just said it out loud and then didn't do that thing. Sometimes it's easier said than done is... a very perfect phrase for this situation. Oops! Almost blew that. I think you might get two ticks with the uh, fire trick. I think it's just her animation is slow and it makes it look like two ticks, but it always makes me- I feel like I'm a tick late and I still- I still get it, but... I definitely mess up the lightning trick way more often than the fire. Not that either of them are too difficult to get down. If you're really locked into what you're doing, you can definitely make sure you're not taking any damage here. Which again is nice, but it's pretty interesting that that would be the case for such a high level boss. So here comes acid life. Ooh, it spit it everywhere this time. Excuse me. <clears throat> well, dragon longsword life and some extra brews. Nice. Uh, somebody already placed a tip on my Hydra guide saying, um, Green ground crystal shards to turn your potions to divine potions. The ones that get dropped is really not a bad idea at all. Overall, I'd have to imagine the the difference should be remotely minimum, because the amount uh, the amount that you rely on the potion drops should be pretty minimal in the first place. But still, while you're on the potion drops, oops, did I go too early? I did. Look how she splattered the acid everywhere. Anyways, if you are surviving off those potion drops, you might as well make a bonus. Think of an envy space, though, for something that won't always be the case. Did she get one attack in yet? I don't think she did. I think it's three range here, right? Well, I might be tanking. Already 49 health. Why don't I use this? And it did tank a one there, so she's got two magic hits left. There's one of them. Here comes a lightning. There's the second one. Head over here. So this should outdo the lightning, right? We're good to go here. Ooh, I don't know if I went early, if she's using a range or a magic hit here. I think it's magic. Nope, there's range. Feels bad, man. Tank and hits. She'll have one more magic attack left. If we don't get this. Wait.
Final stretch. Let me see a couple good hits. Evo life. Getting close to the half hour mark, which means... I probably should have trusted myself more to try to get it all in one trip here. Oops, never mind as I take some damage. I'll be fine here. Two sharks and the restore drops. I might be able to pull off the hour-long trip instead. Um, I don't see an issue with doing that for the video. Because generally you're trying to do more than a single hour at a time anyway, I imagine. So people have no problem if it's... I don't know, adds up that way. What I'm thinking, I guess what I'm trying to get out, is that if I do a second trip, I don't want to end a second trip, like, halfway through, just to show you guys, like, the loot and that it's been an hour and whatnot, but that's how I would do it at this rate. I did it with the Venonatus guy, just because we're trying to show exactly one hour. So if I could instead not snipe that poison, you fool. I could instead survive an hour here would be nice, but it's the Sanfus that are going to mess with me. I got to not blow that again. Maybe I just take the bank trip the half hour mark anyway as I tank another hit. My god. Do one of these. Have one more range hit. I do want to bank at least once, I guess. Um, to give some example of the bank trip. But very simply, I'm just teleporting out to the mountain and then running back in. I think there's still one more mage hit. Barely did that trick right, too. Didn't matter much, did it? Nice hit. 82. I think 83 is my max hit. This setup. all three magic attacks? I think it is. Boop. Yeah. Or not. Oh, what am I doing? Almost forgot to switch. Every other now. Nice, more Alk Life. Just go ahead and sip this. Oh, I could decant, huh? Not quite. Looking good, though. Almost half an hour in at 12 kills. The 25 kill pace looking very doable. Overall, I feel like I've gone over everything mechanic-wise that I'm looking for while I'm fighting it, but anything else I can think of while doing it, I'll keep bringing up. If not, keep repeating exactly what I'm looking for, I guess, during each part of the fight. Like, right now, I'm only focusing on when this acid disappears for when I switch my prayer. Very rarely count the first three. First six, I guess. I guess, no, I'm counting the first three attacks because I'm waiting for her to use that acid, too. Maybe I don't even know how I fight this thing. The three range hits coming hot. Oops. There's one mage hit during that. There's the second. There's the third. Wait, didn't get the range hit in, so this will be easy. It is very convenient when uh, she changes phases right when she would have been changing normal attacks, too. Just makes it easier to remember. So this is still going to be magic, even though I was on Protect for Magic already. She used three range hits before. Meaning if it was red or black the next time it attacked me, it was going to be a magic hit. Oh, I just switched for that, didn't I? Good to go. Brimstone key. Oh, look at me getting burned last second. Idiot. 
I'll take that key though, nice. One in 40, you got two of them in like 13 kills. Hmm. I'll be good on this fight. You should use that blowpipe spec. Oh, I'm tanking, aren't I? Fool, I was too focused on the specs. Which is stupid, because if I spec, I heal up, and then I tank a hit, I could just lose everything that I healed up. That's not a good idea. Focus on the attacks, for sure. Great advice, I'm aware. Nice, so she got two range attacks left. Looking for where that lightning lands. Close to me early. So there's the one range attack right while I'm clicking it, right? Here comes the second. We're good to go. All the other lightning's gone. So I'm gonna run over here. Just used one mage attack. There's two. Oh. Here comes three. So it'll have one more range attack if it's still red. Okay. Solid kill. For sure, we're definitely past the halfway point too. Not a bad drop. I got plenty of supplies. It's about this Sanfu. I gotta not blow it on the poison life. I guess that's on me if I gotta take a bank trip at like 45 minutes in and then just do a real half ass trip for the back end of it. It still is gonna add up to about 25 kills we're looking at. Should have brought the extra Sanfu. I had to have more trust in myself for the longer trip. Alright, so he's got one more range attack in here, which I keep bringing up the attacks right at this point because it'd be hard to see. See how he just used it while I'm like zooming in trying to pay attention to the floor? If you're watching, oops, and then I didn't switch my prayers in time anyway. If you're watching intently the lightning and the lightning trick, you can easily miss an attack there for sure. Usually only gets just the one attack in though. If the lightning's kind of late getting to you, maybe uh, it's getting a second one in right as you're doing the lightning trick. Damn, I just blew that though. Very often that's not the case. There's a little bit of walkie walkie. Getting an 83 in there, nice. Making me not feel so bad. Though I will be tanking in a minute because I don't know how many more magic attacks left. Zero now that we moved along. Let's not blow it here. Definitely keeping track of the nine attacks for the next poison blob right now, too. This is five, six, seven. There's eight. There's nine, so this would be a poison blob, right? Yeah. Or he's like killed it though. Beautiful. Mmm, food drop maybe? Nah. Oh yeah, there's two sharks in there. <laughs> nice. Let me get these alks. 
survive off this then. Be fine. We got the blowpipe spec. Probably two of them. Oh, and I didn't switch my prayers! What's the point of healing? Maybe you don't switch your prayers. I do that every time. I stop paying attention to the attacks. Very, very intelligent move, I know. Alright, she had the one more mage hit. Coming in hot during the lightning. Nice, barely gotta use this phase. Nope, oh, not at all. Nice. Cruising. Oh, could use this too. So far, so good. This kill is pretty quick. I think the green phase is a little, little short, but the other three have gone really, really quickly. Well, let's see how this one ends. Don't jinx it now. That fell pretty quick, we'll see. One thirty eight, not anything absurd. That green phase is a little slow. I like the lightning skip though. Convenient. 16 kills in at the moment. Should be about two thirds. Yeah, 84k XP gained at 128k an hour. So, almost 40 minutes in since I started attacking the Hydra and gaining some sort of XP. Overall, the loot has been, if anything, slightly below average, but still pretty solid. <laughs> The drops are very nice. Just a lot of cash is what always is shocking. Like, straight up 1612k in cash, thanks to the Alks. Again, for Iron Man, this is solid. We've got runes, we've got herbs, uh, bones, and battle stabs are good for prayer and crafting XP. Two brimstone keys do add some more cash, to be fair. I don't know if the loot tracker has an estimate on those. No, it doesn't. But, um, I usually... Just give myself a 100k number per key just to round it off, but uh, you never know. Even if it's another 200k is not a huge part of the envy, but it's still nice. Oh, what am I doing, man? I didn't realize I hadn't backed him up enough yet either. What I meant when I was saying what am I doing is with the lightning, but I didn't even have him on the vent. Trying to blow it here late in this trip. Kind of late in the trip now that I'm pushing to extend it. Okay, two magic attacks left. One left. Range life. We KO him sooner than later. Move on to the next phase, please. That'll be it. No, really? That'll be it. That was an 83. Okay, now it should be two magic hits. Got one more mage attack if it's still red. And final stretch. Oh, fool. There goes the last sip of Sanfu, hmm. Means when I get poisoned the next time I just gotta telly out. Trying my best to make myself bank trip, apparently. I am just gonna sip up a little. 
It is not ranging potions that I'm looking to run out of, so I don't mind wasting the minute or so left on that divine. Solid hits. Still got one more attack in this phase. See how the acid was still there for a bit during the transition. But clearly hadn't had time to use a third attack yet. So there's his third range hit. See how I was able to do the lightning trick then go switch over prayers? You do have a little time normally. But if the last lightning to hit the ground was the one that I'm doing the trick on, sometimes you don't get quite as much time, you kind of have to eyeball it. But that's very uncommon. Like, I don't think it's yet to happen in this hour. I haven't been able to really bring it up. As I tank a range hit. I'm off by a square, but I will have a tick to move. Never mind. Not forget the acid, fool. Didn't walk far enough away, did you, fool? I'm about to tank that too. Wow, I'm having a rough kill and a half here. Blowing it. Alright, gotta use my blowpipe to help heal up in this next one. Shark drop? No, but the dragon fruit tree seed dragon fruit tree seeds. My god, can't say it, but they are a good drop. Oh, I just tried to alk one of them. Can I get no on that? <laughs> Alright, um Yeah, I'm not sipping up this time with three minutes left in the divine still. I'm gonna try not to suck. Try not to suck. Sketchy. First attack is range, it just yeets me. Oh, please don't tank. Okay. Alright, I got pretty solid health. Really just need one health at this point, too. Should be good to go. I did get one range attack off. I saw it snipe one in there. I think it still has one more rain chip for magic. We'll see. Yeah, we're good. Oh, and then what are you doing? I don't know, I'm good, I'm good. I just totally reversed whatever phase I was in in my head. Still has one more magic attack here. Never mind. Oh, yep, trying to blow it. Holy shit. Starting to get off rhythm with that poison attack on this final phase. I don't know why. Shark drop. It's time to be a little nicer. I don't know, BP spec to help. Crystal keys, say. Well, uh, it's only 38 seconds on that divine. How long do we have left, though? 100k at 128k an hour. Shoot, my math's not good enough. We have 45 minutes or so? A little more, like 48? I'm gonna wait on it for a sec.
And then now that it's about to be up, it's up here. And we're good to go. One more magic hit. Nope, right to range. So it's going to be three range. And then lightning signifies that it's moving back to magic. But right now it'll be moving back to magic. Oops. Should be all three range attacks for this phase. Which means whether it's red or black, it's still gonna use magic to start the next attack. Let's see. Definitely gonna happen as red, because I'm not doing much damage. And it'll have three of them. Did I knock it on the vent? I did, clearly, because I just did a 59. <laughs> Okay, it did get one range hit in there, so we'll start with magic here. Oh, why the multi-splatter, damn! There it goes. I don't have the anti-poison life needed. Feels bad, man. That means I can make a quick bank trip, though, because I don't need that much. So I'm going to teleport out side the lair. Bank is right here. Really just gonna grab a sand foo, a full divine, uh, put some of the loot away, grab like two food, and I'll be able to make the last 10 minutes. Literally, if I weren't just going for an hour, I would just do a full reset here, but not necessarily what I'm looking for right now. Some loots away. Ooh, you know what I did drastically without thinking is not pick up the few hydro bones I could have collected. Probably four or five of them. It's only a, a bit of the money. I would have made. I put more stuff away than I needed. Hold on. One of these. Go six of these. And something like this. And we head back down. Okay, so let's see. Hold on. 105 out of 126. Oops, this isn't the calculator. This is a notepad. Please go downstairs while we're trying to speed up my bank trip. We should do the math while I'm in the tunnel. Come here, come here, come here. All right, 105 out of 126, 83% of the hour is done. 49.8 minutes. It's about 10 minutes to go at 20 kills is, hold on. Yeah, I'm on pace for 24 in the hour. That's still just about right. Pretty solid trip. I definitely should have just switched out a restore for another Sanfu and I could have gone much longer. I thought I would have taken more damage than I did and I didn't even do perfectly by any means. Could have been much better. I did tank quite often. It's proof that you could use very little supplies while you're in here. And sip this. These might hit me. Nope. And we are back. So four or five more kills and I'm out of here. Probably go five more kills and bounce. Oh, need a switch, fool. See what I mean? Tanking a lot of hits, still having decent trips. Hmm. I did bring the extra food last time, which helps having decent trip length when you're taking damage, but I thought it'd be worse. I'm not sure if this will be range or magic. Range it is. Should be one more magic attack? Yeah.
Come on. It did sneak off that magic attack quick, so it'll be using range here. Here's where I've been blowing it a couple fights in a row. Very easy spot to not blow it. Just walk back. It's as simple as that. It was very difficult, I know. Pretty impressive to watch, I imagine, this far into the video. Oh, I just tanked that. Woo! Deserved it. What have you got for me? Kill 21 on the hour. Coinage and runes. Basically what you would expect. It's a lot of the same drops over and over. Just alkables, runes, herbs. But, um... They all add up pretty well, and if you finally land those uniques, the claw is still like 76 mil right now. That is a filthy drop. There's really not any other boss in the game that has the really consistent drop table like this one, similar to Vorkath and Zora, that has this level of a rare drop, too. Like, getting the Dragonfire... Not the Dragonfire War, the Skeletal Visage, getting that from Vorkath is still a pretty big drop, even though... You have a lot of other consistence, but it's nowhere near the same as getting that Hydra Claw for sure. It's reasonable though. You need 95 Slayer to even attempt to fight the thing, and you gotta be on task, which you can only get the task from one specific Slayer Master, who generally, since she always makes you do your tasks in a certain area, she's slower to grind out, making it overall a little bit longer to get the task, so... Oops, range hit. Definitely needs to reward you pretty heavily for what a pain it can be to get the fight going, but... She rewards you very heavily. The money here is, can be absurd. We range life, or mage life now. Just for the one. She got two more mage hits. Oh, got her to switch already. Not a bad kill. Thank you, thank you. Go for a couple Alks quick. I've got a whopping 1.2k magic XP during this hour, too, from Alking. Pretty solid gains, I gotta say. Hundred and sixteen K XP gain, 124k per hour. Probably just going for the two more kills. And then calling it good for the full hour here. 24 it's looking like. Probably would have hit that 25th if I didn't have to bank in the hour. What I get for not bringing enough Sanfu serums. Perfect timing. Raises is switching attacks. Well, I can sip this, I guess. Oh. I think it'll have just the one more mage hit. May have been two. This was one! Cool beans! Bruising. Final stretch. Don't forget the fourth attack on the final stretch. This one right here. Step back. It's as simple as that.
Battle staves and coinage. And I'm gonna call this. Uh, and that kill went pretty solid. Let's see what the XP and the XP per hour are like at the end of this kill. This will probably be the last kill it's looking like, though. The math is adding up. If I broke my PB on this kill, I might go for another. So far, not quite on pace for the broken PB, but... Yeah, not at all. No butts. One more range attack. There it is. Might get a lightning skip. Nope, that had to be a big hit. So it should be all three range hits here, I think. This is the attack in question. Twas a mage hit, smooth move. All right, this is going to be it. Final kill of the hour. What have you got for me, Mr. Hydra? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. There it is. Four sharks to try to make me want to keep going. That's a pretty solid drop in the bolts being about 100k, to be fair. That is it though, that's 126k XP gained at 126k XP an hour. So it's been an hour of fighting Hydra, I did get 24 kills. Would have been 25 again if I didn't have to take that bank trip, but I didn't really set myself up to do it all in one trip. I was planning on doing two trips in the first place, and then about halfway through it looked like I might get it all in one trip, but didn't quite turn out that way. Still, uh, I will post on screen what the loot is, which definitely was below average. Plus, I didn't really pick up any of these Hydra Bones, which, is, as you can see, is a pretty big chunk of it. So, definitely was a below average hour, but still pretty solid loot overall. Even though she has very consistent loot in general, uh, it still weighs pretty heavily the amount of money you make on getting a Hydra Claw. Not too terribly. Like, uh, I guess Cerberus is something that relies far more... Far heavier, I should say, on the uh, Primordial Crystal, but still, it definitely requires some uniques here and there to really see the mind-blowing cash. But overall, you are going to profit pretty well if you just do your Hydra tasks. That was just a single hour of it, not even a full task. I still have a lot of kills I could be doing on this task. And in fact, I'll be using it for two other versions of this hour of Hydra. I'm going to do one with a Blowpipe and one with a Dragon Hunter Lance. You should see them over the next couple of days. This is going to wrap up this hour of Hydra, though, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed, or just in general, got some useful information. If you enjoy this sort of live uh, content and you want actual live content, I do stream on Twitch. The link should be on the screen and in the description. In general, if you just enjoyed or got your useful information out of it, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys again soon. Best of luck with your Hydra grind.